map was inserting him deep into spots like this, over towards Market, and then running a B exec where he dashed over to switch. Oh, oh and Jordan, he's read it and shut down his counterpart. As soon as the alarm bot was broken, still, looks like NLG don't want to slow down this hit, but still anchoring players to deal with APOC, blind as a bat, and Derek dealt with towards the back, so. An open plant now for them. NRG be able to get themselves into that post plant, but they've already lost control of the front section of the site. This is a fast re-clear. But Jorgamo, nature right behind him. Not too much utility, but he spots out the shoulder. A couple of stray shots not really doing the job. It's actually the paranoia on Marv that I'm looking at. He's still holding it. As soon as they collect that contact, and he's going to send it flying, so it pushes them back for but a moment. And enough damage done, softening up all of what goes wrong. Uh, that was essentially the exact same strat they were going to run anyway. They just run it without the jet. All four of the players spilling out through main and Ethan Flash and the dash. It's all going to be combined up to push these players away. Along with that, Dad is not actually taken care of, but Demon One will just go down to the spam. Isolated, I believe, from a bit of that util at the choke, and his team wasn't following up. Jorgamo still here. Trying to find that value with the dash active. Of course, he is suppressed, so unable to use too much in terms of the wave abilities. The NRG game against Leviathan. People were looking at Demon One's stats at the end. He went 2 and 15 in first kills to first deaths, and they're like, ah, oh, Demon One, he's, he's tragic on the entries. He's washed. It, it, <laughs> entries like this have been Demon One's reality recently, where he goes in and he's just getting annihilated inside his own cloud bursts. It's unfortunate, and it's set NRG up in another 4v5. Definitely gonna see that. Duelist players having poor performances if the setup isn't quite there, Victor. Good awareness from APOF. Victor dodged the recon. And Apoth still clears it. Walkabouts all over the place here. Ethan seeking advantages. Pop flash underhanded. One enemy remaining. And that One will. Yeah, I mean, what is that? The punish there, the first death onto Demon One. And then Apoth swings around, pushes tiles to kill the walking down cat now. Mm, Nano Swarm. Sent fly here for Superman as well to take up that space into main. Didn't actually clear this alarm bot. Not a little matter with the amount of players up forwards. It will get broken at the end of the day, but it's a player disadvantage that NRG are staring at. And I have to offset that. With Marv's death in A main, I think the read here is fairly obvious that they're going into a B split. This flash is supportive util. I want to play off of it. A couple of sound cues being made as a high-low setup. NRG. One kill claimed. Dark rebounds just as the ult is sent flying, dashing forwards into the smoke as well reveals. All to be seen. Apoff only oh, able to clean up so much more. This guy just on fire right now. Again, that supported U turn in. Sorry about the recon. But uh, it's getting real dangerous here. It might even be a little bit scrappy. Too much to overcome. There was no exit strategy in the back of his mind. Superman is going to let loose the one smoke. The nade follow through. Up draft with the knives. No one really ready for it. Nature, though, will respond. Following through, all with the spray. Only claiming two. The rest of NRG should have been able to get the trade kill there onto Nature early on. And now Apoth with the ultimate. Oh, and then Ethan is so perilously weak. Do you even commit the Hunter's Fury? They are going to. Yeah, they're going to. They want to see if they can win this one round. And everyone does count at the end of the day here in December to leave it just out of crashes. Shot down to clear the way. Maybe he can get onto the angle, but it's already being stuck all the way here by Apoth. And the dodging and the being removed. And so they're gonna have to go for a bit of a mad dash now and scramble into these players. Doubled up Superman alongside it. Derek, he's gonna provide that cover and fire. Just a hail of lead that's gonna be raining down onto them, but then actually do get access eventually to the site. Barely with any time left on this fury. One connection, follow through. Can't quite claim the second kill. But they all lined up! Derek! It's a masterpiece in motion. And now surely set up for the EG win onto the retake. Marved. Iceman stands his ground, repositioned down into hell, but it's just being assailed from the position. Victor from the side. He's still going to punish them. Either on the extremities or in mid. Here we go, it's fast though. Onto the half by that is a bit of a beef by Mar. I think he's trying to TP into his own smoke. Jorgamo dropping him to shreds right now with the outlaw bite. Heads up, knowing that the economy is going to be weak. Demon one, though, surely not. No, take it out. Great storm, refreshed, but not even. There's one. Yeah, it's just one from the drone run. in case they follow through a bit. Locked down. Anything to remove this. Slight spacing and a gap in towards the back of the side, but Derek is not going to be playing towards it. It's going to be backing away. Nana Swarm will land. Clearing through with a util. Demon 1 is so much Five further clear. forwards. He knows that the site is free because of the lockdown. But that's allowed NRG to keep two oh. players completely off site for the post ban. It does look like a nice setup. Victor. 
If you guys heard all the sound cues, he needs to know right now to really do some no serious way. damage. Oh Hunter's Fury delaying crashes, just trying to buy time for that wind con that is Victor right from behind with the backstab. Now it's been watched for. What is that awareness? EG, the Terran RG to pieces. Picking up the weapons. I mean, one player by sight. What can you really do? Crashy's going to overcome a mountain of obstacles. Or they're just going to lose space. But I don't Marved. think to full commit. Marved. <laughs> I mean, just sticking the full all here. There's no need to set this one up. They don't know where these players are. Jorgamote's making a mockery of the situation right now, and it's all combined. Now the storm's dropped. And RG again, they're trying to get a move on here. Fast this util. It's all overwhelming here. The Demon One, he was blinded up himself. He was supported util or not. Again, I mean, it just. When you only have. Really nice play here, where it feels like a lot of it's. And the first kill going away of Apoth in mid. Apoth's just been on fire recently. They've gone forward here. Apoth is eventually going to get cleaned up. Smokes. Drop down here. Someone's worried about the re-flank. Yeah, this pistol round though, it was supposed to feel like an A split, but a lot of the players going through A main, and then Superman just stays for the backstab. Oh, Superman hears the reload, he hears the door being broken out wide are all these players, oh, missing a few shots. But Jorgamo is cleaning up the necessary elements, making sure that he's still active into this fight. And what a call by EG. I mean, dominating the smoke, taking up that position. Overpowering the tree fight, just as energy are flooding through. They have to worry about multiple directions, and they are overcoming the odds. And some players and tiles. Jorgamo getting dropped down to 5 HP. He's forwards, though. This guy, relentless. It's not shying away from any sort of aggression. In fact, dashing all the way forwards. He's cut this up. Ethan, it's a miracle that he even got the two. Crashies is in the middle of nowhere, out wide. And so he will fall. Toppled nature, though. Aiming for the gun. An aggressive mana swarm, so they know the kill joys B. Demon one could get. A bit more aggression now onto this angle. He still has a dash. What's going on there? How are these kills being found? Jorgamo. Oh my. This guy's forwards now with the pace that he's taking this at. He's forcing out the ultimate and energy. Looking to really just salvage this operation. But they all go wider to Hunter's Fury shots. It's a free plan for Derek. But I think it was the up barrel that might have been peeking around the corner there that led to those ridiculous openings by Jorgamo. Can he survive? Oh, he keep needs this? it. He needs to hold on to it. He's got it. Ronda with that damage done from the shock. He dark flash reclear, beautifully called. And RG will mix things up like that, and it does disrupt this process by EG. Standing ahead. Just like you want to go fast, though. Injection of that pace. Hunter's Fury trying to clear the way into the back of the site, but there's too many angles to really account for here. And EG aren't going to be able to get too much done. In fact, Jorgamo wants to take it in a far more different direction. Can hit the transfer. Demon 1. Nasty reactions, even getting his ally back up onto his feet. Flanking attempt up and around Superman as he brought them an opening. He cracked open this side of the map, but already calling for the pivot. Yeah, it was a great call by Superman. They cancelled that B hit really early on. And with him being able to find the pick, there is just enough time to pivot to the egg site and still have this in a decent chance for a G to win. Superman needs more though. Needs way more than that! What's going on there? How the hell is he getting away with it? And they're just flooding the defenses. Any sense of a retake? Were they trying to sync up some kind of updraft double swing? That was so poorly coordinated from NRG on the fly. You know, saying that in the tree and insta calls that cancel of the B push. Oh, where EG were not having too much success with it. Great kill onto Marv, and then what? No oh, way! That's an amazing <laughs> pre-fire shot Joy in that spot. He missed the drone? I believe it a shot. Didn't clear him, though. Didn't clear him into the corner. So Victor does get the valley that it was intended for him. He's going to be pushed back and away. Ethan also feeling the heat. It's been turned up. Wow, now this play. Jorgamo with the buck in his hand. He's even touched the flash. APM off the bloody charts from this guy. And that one's a paved away. Committing one of the blades, we're moving away from that to hat. Nades flying through and forwards. This is a site that's going to be gained now for them, and they're already getting that plant down. Demon one, take matters into your own hands here. A chance to really wrangle back fate and control. Crashies with the firing line. Making sure that nobody can really take in adjustment. Round away! Jokemo! Goodness me, man! What is the finish? Just way to check.
stiff performer carry of evil geniuses and stamp your mark of authority upon the match. There's no way. I can't believe what he's done. There's no way. With knives in a bucky? I mean, that's a Valorant trailer moment. Open wide though, flash over the top. Smokes laid down in a pretty rapid fashion though, along with the paranoia, it's going to be buying time for the reinforcements to arrive. Boom bot broken, just in time. Another flash as well, good connection for the blind fire. Who will be winning the day out? Looks like an Archie for now, Nade. Rebounding, Beautiful. nature out wide, it's very good in terms of the util. And it's found them disadvantaged position in a 1v3 for Apoff. Victor's got his back towards him. But surely the angles are covered. Apoff. No, he wants to peek for it. He wants to, to make a go of it. Still for info on B. Oh, here in all that presence. No way you're just letting this loose so damn early. Tree blinded with the paranoia still. Rocket will get the job done. Messi finish there out towards Tree. Jorgamo. He's feeling that heat. Has to let loose now with the boom bot. It's led him directly into the target. Necessary kill with Mark falling. Satchel evading all the sights. Even farming up the orb in time. He's got his back online. Old now available. And with the door switch, they hit this one and they want to go into a rapid approach once more. Ethan, only the one but one to stand is Demon 1. 1v3. You'd have to be precise and snappy with a lot of these shots. Haunt. One more layer to really overcome, and he can't. This commitment's got to come. They didn't busy, though. Surely this close the backside play. Apop's got a cage to play into it as well. Lit up Victor. Going for another swing of things. You realize he wasn't really getting out of danger here. Calling for the pivot. NRG. Fast now back through. Sees is a wonderful connection. That timing is elite right there. And Derek has locked them all into place. But you have to barrel your way through. It's brute force. It's the name of the game right now for NRG. And it's not. If yeah, give up and can see that space. I think that stun is really good, and what a shot from Mark. Caught by the trip, luckily no one there to play off of it. Yeah, quite lucky. Mark's got a gun though. This guy is just running all over them. Footsteps made, and he's caught the timing. Onto Apop. Alt popped off and online. The Ice Man himself. His team can't get it done. He certainly will. He is caught in all sorts. Psych him out. Anywhere. And there's still only 30 seconds 30 on the clock. Seconds. They haven't Rush. made a decision. Looking for a detainment. Anything to just force the hand of these EG players, but they backed away entirely. No detainment. Superman is taking out Demon 1. Marved. They're aware of the low possibilities, but again, he has to take matters into his own hands. Double face. Running him down now. Just trying to use the trip to slow them in their place. But where is the ending here for NRG? Is it towards B? With only 10 seconds remaining. It's EG. They are just plucking them apart. Spike. Unraveling the thread that is this round, Run having to commit and stick this one, but there are no defense available. Okay, with the front line. okay oh, rolling thunder over towards left. B. Instead, it's going to pave the way out through the baby door. No one can really stand their ground towards the Jorgamo. Taking liberties. This man's feeling free right now, all the way over towards the side and the transfer of a lifetime. Derek is doing the most for it, but maybe they can overpower their way back into the side. And actually, 2v2. Maybe they can isolate this fight here. Snake bite. Mosh pit meeting the march! Mark's getting squished outside B. Need this kill onto him at least to try and make it a little bit more doable. He's tucked close into the corner. Satchels are nice. Pushing them back and away. Victor. Okay, finding no value there, at least from the rocket, but it does at least get them access to the A site. Absolutely, I think that's worthwhile. Demon 1, one away from ult. Crashies, one away from ult. Kills here could turn things. EG. Really quite fast. They need to clear out rubble. It's one of the things that they're quite concerned about here. Aftershock. Push them back, flip the switch, forcing Ethan towards the back of the site. Close quarters. So we're trying to do a bit of work here with the Stingers, and they're doubled up onto Heaven A. Pop off! One and done there. Traded out. And Archie, the finding value. Tucked into all these tight positions. This time he is alone. He's always so aggressive in there's these There's so spots. much danger. There's so much danger. Cross air placement, though, is quite ideal for it. Satchel! Jorgamo! Oh my god, he's disrespecting them! I love the way that Jorg plays. He's got to be one of the most entertaining players to watch. We're moving like that. It's him and Jing. There's something to do with having a J in your name. I can't disagree. He's earned himself a rifle, but surely. Surely that's where the retake ends. EG. They have Util available for them, but Jogmo down and out. Sheriffs nailing a few of these shots here. Crash is even feeling like he had to use the thrash into this particular position. They're being squeezed. NRG though should still be favored. Jump spot. It's only real way to clear it. Derek. Only be able to do so much here. 
Fine running short now. Spike chipping away. Hello, 1v1. <sighs> Doesn't want to tangle with it. But EG are faking that control. Now oh, Gido contacted quite close to the corner. Trip going to be tripping him up for only a moment here for Victor. Can deal with it. They just got a snake bite that's going to be landing for when this plant starts to get online. And there it goes, flying forwards with the nade that's going to disrupt it. So the plant not online for them. Now time board. EG, knife full. Forwards, the sense is cut away. Spike regains, but they want to try and pivot into B. Who's going to be leading the charge from Miss Ethan? Waiting right into the trip. Apoff, ult online. Norofeb gives him all the info. And a key reposition now. He's going to be cutting up close and tight to these corners. There are no gaps right now in EG's playbook. They could have held there on C. NRG, they had the orbital strike. They could have held off that push and tried to pause the round and freeze. And instead, they keep trying to rotate and find the weak spot. EG are just reading that. Hey, Poff. It's an off angle. Might choose to just peek in here in Forda Cam. Seeing it now and hearing it. Footsteps rumbling forward towards him. Kills it to be found. And they are even now at least on the side of NRG. The two can stand here to try and get this plant down over towards A. I don't see how they're stopping Jorg. Yeah, He's and here in it is. Showstopper. Basically let the fuse burn out. You need a kill to be found. But the Steven one is dropped one player. The stand crashes. He's just being isolated, left. locked down in a position, rooted, a tap, six seconds! Be a good call to do, and it looks like that's what they're going to be trying to do. Snake bite, down at the feet, looking down at one angle, and it has just put a bit of a pause into the round, but maybe firepower can do it. Lovely jump spot, Victor. He's just messing up the aim exactly enough for his team to really get into the fight. Nade rebounding, will disrupt it again. This plan is going to be pushed back and away. And with Derek finding that one kill, the straggler crashes. He's supposed to be that late lurk, but an ult earned. Victor on the rocket into his hands, contacting slowly as it goes. And just about catch it. So two to stand here into this retake. Do Eiji still want to make a go of things? Jorgamo finds a kill. It's a little bit messy. Bulldog doesn't make it a clean job, and so there's still some fight left for these EG players. They do want to make a go of this one. Hearing that reload up high, damage. Should be quite predictable, but I'm choosing to do it. Nature, jiggling. Dodging everything, and now the Util Kitchen Sing being sent at him, and they do eventually isolate it. Stunned up, Jorgamo, still with a cage, fading away. Gives him that opening, Satchel forwards. And around to the corner here. And actually not going to be given that easy access over towards the A site. They can't Let find these easy fights, these duels. Entirely the way of EG. It's fallen to pieces. In NRG's camp, they had all the weaponry. They had a big ult. Almost as good as a beginning as you could really hope for. But that flood defense of EG now left. has basically ramped it up. Nice and pretty. Six to six. Unless Marv can just go huge and nuclear. It's not likely, though. It's got 20 seconds left. It's an impossibility. The rest of the team just looking to focus on their defense half at this point, I think. Well wishes to Marv. Hello. Give it the best shot. And Jorgamo. Triple faced up. Apoff. Oh, it could be under some immense pressure here. It's still going to be chased down, but the backup arriving just in time. EG covering the retreat. And now the hard pivot over towards A. Lovely dismantling of that pistol round strap by EG. They knew something was up. They held their ground, waited to bait out the response from NRG. Now they've got a 5v2 advantage. I threw Ethan wants to go fast with this one after shock. Even a flash, connecting but vulnerable to Ethan. It's back to all of them. It's the only chances for NRG into this pistol round to just go fast and loose and disrupt that plan as it was going down. These are the kind of pistol rounds, by the way, where NRG will be so happy to take those kind of raw fights. They'll just think of themselves as better because they've achieved more in the past. Hello. Whoa! Oh, he's on B now. Fire and you can still do work here, though. They've stacked this one with the appropriate amount of players, and with the showstopper not getting value, might be the time to strike here for NRG. Wingman. Forwards. Not quite finding it. Door flips open with the switch as well. It's a bit... No obfuscation in terms of the way that EG are trying to land this one, but finally the plant coming through. Shots also fired forwards, Dizzy blinded. Goop all over the place, NRG, they have the foothold. Surely just need to land these shots. They got the rifles in play. Still dealing with this one though, Apoff. That is a pesky moment from him. He's just catching those late lurks. Demon one, leave it to him. A 1v3, he's got to worry about the flank. He's got to be worrying about his hard anchoring positions of these players tucked. In every single position. That's nice, though. Snappy. Six bullets. Down to just three. 33 health as well. 
making it just so damn unlikely. Nature. Yeah. Rubble, which I think could be extremely effective. Yeah. But again, going for the same play. Yeah. NRG, I mean, yeah, you're on the you're on the half bar. You got to make some moves towards something. But again, you're never really going to be favored trying to take that fight. No, it's just it's so easy for the player to just tuck into this corner and then set up multiple people kind of facing you from both sides. It's really rare we see the defenders win those fights. But it's the desperation from NRG. They're now walking back out, but they're going to meet Apoth's trip. Can they apply enough pressure? We'll see. Trips broken onto the flank. It's a fast approach by NRG, and they are just trying to create that pressure, noise cues, and sounds. Apoff stunned up. Just can't quite do it. That's These big. kills. Yeah, flooding in the direction this time of NRG. Let's see if they can do a bit more damage. Victor's been anticipated. And nature. It's already fast. Forward, Victor! Strip the head clean off. Kill feed filled up entirely with green, and now Ethan. And take his time alongside Marv forwards here with Derek on such a better smoke from Superman. That one way is not finding value, but they're gonna nightfall Hello. instead. Nightfall sends flying here with a paranoia and a nade. It's all being exchanged and lobbed on an even side. Jorgamo just satches up to the high ground position and the smoke oh, won't save you. Superman, did he just stick the TP behind them? He did because they're all nightfall. There was no audio cue. Superman, there's nothing personnel kid. I mean, that is just insanity. What a play by EG. You got to see there what NRG are trying to do to hold on to that space. The fault line came through from B, putting pressure on them, but Jorg just jumps up. They can't hear it because of the nightfall. Then an omen out behind him. <laughs> that is sick. <laughs> that is, that we've is seen, so good. I mean, we've seen teams rip those kind of ideas before. That could not have been timed more perfectly because EG. Oh, yeah. The Demon One and Victor. Oh, 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 oh. Demon One is fast on the trigger. Yeah, I mean, you got to give it to him. This guy, he's still precise, just crouched up, locking down that one sight line. The play is forced out of them. A lot of trips to deal with. Over the strike as well. Stunned. Connecting Rocket. Let loose on either side. But it's only that even fight taken. NRG, it is that full investment. They gotta come up with a win here. They're calling a pause now into this round, letting it loose here with the tap of Jorgamo after Shock Molly. All sent forwards here. That's good denial of the plant utility. And NRG are gonna be set up here to go for either a flood or a set retake with the thrash. They can say tough, but they're still worried about a flank occurring. And it is tough, isn't it? With only 17 seconds remaining into this round here. Jump spot of Derek. He will get the acknowledgement that there's a player holding his position up towards heaven. Thrash needs to be broken, detained. It catches. And now kills need to be found on the EG side here. But for NRG, they're feeling it. There's blood in the water. They're making their way all the way forwards. The bait and switch. And the rifles singing true, landing onto all the now. I don't really see how EG could take this early round. I guess they were just hoping that NRG would for something else. This is so I mean, deep. trying to push out of B as well at the same time. There's so many angles to account for. They're contacting back up through this. Demon 1, he's overextended his hand. It's feeling like he has to make a play off of this one now for NRG. Them two feeling it. What a call to make. The right pauses into the moment. Playing off the flashes. Overwhelming the EG positions. Everybody was blinded up. That takes guts to call for that play when all of their pushes out through B main have failed up until that point. From the pistol through to this round, the coordination there from NRG after they took the pause was looking good, but Derek's gonna try to fire back. How could he possibly isolate the ones though? Yeah, I mean, they're all grouped up. Ah! They are not worried about anybody being here. Nope. They know this is only Marv to probably retake setup. And full control. Into the Prowler as well, connecting onto the trip. That's going to get them the signs of life they needed. Still, Cam, seeing it. Superman with the plans. Nades. Forwards. This is Victor. He's been sent flying. Trebuchet right into the site. Senaji now not messing around with the pit. He's going to be covering this one into the post. Is he going to be stretching far enough? Aftershock. Ethan, hesitancy in terms of which part of his util and kit to really utilize in this moment. Satchel's pushing them back and away. Crashies onto the defuse. Anything to stop this? Anything to stop this? The gunfight's won! And it's all. this delay. <laughs> the cams have been rotated every single round. Always in a different spot. Sees it again. He knows it. Peekaboo. 
I'm not going to be broken. Laid up towards heaven. Stops anybody from pushing back out to it. There's a snake bite as well to try and get that safe plant. Too much has been disrupted. Back to pieces there by the cam, and again another flood attempt right when the plant isn't even going down here. It's Superman who falls into that tree angle, still need to deal with Pit, and there's really no protocols right now for EG. They don't really have the guns for it. Gonna try and take it here, raw mechanical ability. Derek's position is so damn tenuous. Repositions forwards, last two bullets not finding it. Chalkmo with the rocket flying. Ethan found no stun connection. Chalkmo still there, but now flushed out into the open once more. And the nades are good and the util better. NRG this time gaining that ground, scaling forward. Oh, Tape pop, trying to get cheeky with it. Nature swings over the strike, but Demon One sticking. It's cleared out the position, seven bullets. Three left. Demon One with a tap. Half already earned. Nature! No way! Victor and the stun is playing. You can just take a ton of map control for free. Cage triggered. How's call for that pivot? Making moves over towards the A side again, and actually you're going to be tested with the flood. Fighting forwards. This nightfall, though. It's been problems for them in the past. Apoff is making full work of it. He's just full sprinting right behind him. The detainment, it's like catch and collision. At least with the rocket, Victor. Brings him down, but it's been the pivot all along. Superman takes us all out there with a yacht. Fighting forwards, Jorgamo seeing it. And the kills are collected. Crossfire setups with all of these rifles. Victor stands his ground, keeps his cool, avoiding the damage, but cannot win the fight out. But Crash is now all leaving it to Marv. Iceman in a clutch, but this is a little bit too much. His post plant positions, impossible to dislodge EG from it. This is going to be them up to 12. Inevitable at this point. Little bit. Series. So this round, you see the stun happening over towards A. Over the top, though, this time, Team of One anticipating it. That satchel play of Chorgamo. Not getting the same value. This time, no nightfall to try to disguise it. Double kill trip setups. You can play from on top of this. And go Apov, trying to work his way into B. He's been demonic on these lurk timings. Flash, dodged out. Lovely with the aim and a reset, but a bit of a bait and switch. Crashies doesn't alert himself to his presence. Finally swings for the kill. Marv's setup's been broken over towards C, and EG are in. A 3v4 to close things out and win the series. To bring it all the way to OT, Marv. Full wrap around here, seeking to clear out these positions. Yeah, just waiting for the body. No off F now. Give them the information they were looking for, but again, it's that mountain plant. Marv's position here is essential. He needs either kills or distraction, enough to try and get NRG in. They have taken that space out towards the site. Victor is hard pressed though. Wingman onto this plant as well, not being broken. It's a lovely smoke to cut up these angles, and it's all any team could come out with a victory here in overtime. Yeah. Such a strange or something. Oh, they're going to be. They've pulled people yeah. over towards C and B, and they're gonna end B. C's nade again. That's Possibility, yep. Yeah. C's catching Victor. Fully isolated away from that fight. At least with the cam to tag him, he's gonna be backed away for a moment. Now over towards A. Guess what? Superman's time to shine. He's the one locking this one down in a slight off angle. They don't anticipate it. Flash. It's beautiful. All sorts of Udo being used to great success for EG. And there it is. I mean, this is a good call here. Now Ethan's gonna let it rip alongside some util, potentially no. No noise cues. Nade forwards. Nature playing inside of his own orb. Horn sent flying, so they know that nobody's there. Has cleared out rubble control this time, EG. I mean, they can just posture this entirely. They have walked into P. NRG, there's a level of that awareness that they know that it's going to be compromised, but they're going to be ready onto the angles. Oh, he lets it loose with the fire. Demon one quick to take him, but they don't realize heaven's compromised. Chorgamo backs against it. Satchel away, <laughs> even collects it. 3v3, though, and as things calm down, EG are locked out of the B site. Nature has space, repositions the orb to try to open this avenue for the rest of his team. But it's going to be a little slow before Superman and Derek can get here. And nature's trying to make it as safe as possible, but he can't oh. cover everywhere at once. And these NRG players are sneaking through to heaven. They're already there, already down to the side, the silent drop down of Victor. In position, ready to strike. Ethan, Util at hand, fault line forward to the satchel, didn't connect with the stun, matters not. Still with the kills. And the flash force to be dodged to Derek, he can't set his crosshairs onto the likely target. Nature is here to do so much more. But You're putting a lot of pressure at the start of the round. Over. Here we go for a refight. Superman's way out into the open here. He gets caught. 
too much to overcome there, at least with the flashes into his face. And now they have to reassess the expectations. The push and the fight coming out for a tree. And Derek forced to reload and back it away. Side by side with Jorgamo, though. This is getting so damn precarious. They're worried about where Marv could be. He's reconnected with the rest of the team, but that also means that Ethan doesn't have other options to go back to. What is this situation? I mean, Marv is trying to give them an option to pivot in a different Boxes direction once the time gets down, because at the moment, NRG have no info anywhere else on the map. But Marv's just one man. Yeah. Can't gather info all across the rest of the map on his own. Can't fake the presence. So, EG, get the knowledge surely at the back of their minds. Have to left. worry about the late lurk, but they can keep a lot of bodies anchored, rooted into place and position. Derek with a dizzy dealt with. Nature instantly there, swinging out wide. Derek seeking it, breaking it apart into pieces. Like a whirlwind. All right, stun early. And this one it comes down to. A lot of util being used into that direction. But EG calling for a pivot into B, it looks like. Me, can I have that main control? A pop, in fact, not fully just not sinking all the way in. It's just purely in the blind, blind spot of the camp. And A pot's through, opened up the avenue for Superman, who broke the camera. Tap, they're worried about just a fast play here, but energy, they're so slow on the mark, they're not even in position to really disrupt this one. So Superman now gonna be getting that full stick down. In these moments, close attention has to be paid, I think, to Derek. He's the one who's gonna be holding this off angle when this retake occurs. If he gets some kills. Plays his life, tucks himself forwards, nature's there. Dizzy's broken. Just not really finding any easy finds with the satchel forwards. They have paved the way, at least the direction that LG can take this into now, into the retake. Apoff inside the cage, winning out his ones, but it's just one man. It's been absolutely ruining NRG. And a fast fight. That's a stun. At least the connection. Jorgamo's way ahead of it though with a C still. TP forward, Superman. He's dealt with Jorgamo. He falls. The marked from behind with a dagger in his hand. Apoff doing a decent amount of work, but you need even more than that. What feels like the first time in ages, NRG. But this surely setting themselves up now. One round ahead, taking the lead in this map. Best opportunity they've really had. Derek gives away where he's positioned. Ah, and takes away. Satchels, forwards, paranoia, shot missed! Victor, I think just steadily moving away and Demon 1 brought down. Crashies. The spectator seed crashes. Biding, waiting, and what a play he could make. There's nobody else coming. Play it down, you could even it up. There is no one else coming, but he might just be waiting for it entirely. No call outs. The longer it waits, the more chance for Crashies to potentially mess this one up. And, and there he takes it, it Does take it, the easy shot finally. So it is 4v4, Victor. A lot of damage done for him, being pressured by that Prowler, and now near-sighted, blinded, forwards. Already taking a space with a seize! Flick to the side! Victor, he's isolated down, just to the raw aim aspects, and he's got backup, arrived. In time here, ahead of the flashes, though. Ethan can't claim the kill, still. They're falling to pieces. For EG, it all leans and relies on Apoff. But look at the awareness of Crash, he's, he's already ready to contain, already to put a stop to it. And Derek in a 1v3, we've seen clutches from him, but for NRG, that grueling finish! One of the top not broken, that's going to clear out most of the site. Ethan oh, should inside be. Cage. Yeah, Ethan inside the cage actually has locked this one up, but up and over and around Ethan. So it's the one there. In fact, NRG are willing to just hold the ground. Little defensible positions. Apoff being red there, just trying to absorb up that space towards mid. That's a lovely pistol round strat. Reading the EG finish on A perfectly. Cage there for Ethan to play inside too. A trip. Now for a little bit of contact. And they know exactly where Derek and Nature both are. There should be no chances, really. Even setting out a lot of that util. Horn broken. Arthur's in a bit of a tricky spot here with the nades. Just hold it onto the TP just in case. How does that get value? Crashy falls to it. <laughs> That's over the top. I mean, that just puts a lot of pressure on the player. Was it spam damage corner? and just a little bit of a I think he got follow up stuck. with a grenade? I mean, I'm not 100% sure, but I think he got stuck in the corner. We'll find out, I'm sure, in the replay. 
Just losing track of things onto the high ground angle. Dropping down. Shot fired. Possibly hearing his rotations marved. Great time to take some risks. And matters into his own hands. Sets up the one way. Find time for the rest of them to start flooding right back into things here with a paranoia. It's hard to really just clear our mark from this spot. And position in Archie. A bonus a. round conversion here would be electric. And a disaster for evil geniuses. I have the they had such a great opportunity in this round. They've taken back control early. And Apoch beefing the fight against left. Demon 1 who only had a Guardian. You don't want to see it like that. 24 another, seconds. Another 1v3 for a different player to try to pick up. Out. There's only one option you can go for. If you want to play to your outs, it's the A site. Has to be one out. Magnetic to the head, but again, Ten it's Marv to deal with, it's Ethan to deal with. Running away. Oh, the wall, but this time setting up for a bit of a play with the boom bot broken. Does Jorgamo suspect I that things so. are up? Yes, he does. Got out awareness and even going to be claiming the kill. Just a bit too obvious when the boom bot gets broken there. Oh, hard oh, stick there from the ult to just try and reinforce that B side. Expecting to be Good way flash. faster from it. Flash is excellent. They've already taken and occupied up mid control. Market is theirs. And so is the round at this point. Team 1 and Crashies would have to go massive. Stand the chance. They have mid control. A pop. Slipping around out of their sight lines here. Weaving in and out. Dodging. The they've got is going to be insane, surely. It's a long range flash. Jorgamo. My god, man. Can't be doing it to him like this. Crashies. Still going to be alive and kicking out towards the elbow angle. I know exactly. Potential for him to be cleared up. Neural theft. They're going to see this one as a heavy, heavy over rotation. And Superman does have his ult for a pivot. In case he spots it, would love to see him execute onto this one here, but they're not calling for a pause into the round, and that could be to their own demise! Rolling Thunder! It has to tear through it, but it leaves it to Crashy in that 1v2 lit up. And a Noro Fev double phase! And not him! Could be money. Could be excellent, could be money, but Jorkamo is the one! He's coming up with tons of it for his team. Marved, overstaying his welcome! He just cannot evade it, cannot escape it, Jorgamo. Running rampant right now. You can see the NRG realize from a big pick. Economical damage will be clear play. Well, that's potential that's... for a massive clash. Oh, they're watching it indeed. Look at this. Fast through. Right past the rifles. Nade flying forwards. Locks off that one shot, but they've already taken top. Mid control. It's ripped away from them. The round's over. over. It's done. Victor left. Looking at the fallen pieces, wondering how it went so badly for NRG. I mean, even I was caught unaware by the fact that we, I mean, they were fighting over Boba. And Victor just kind of wants to keep the gun online. Demon 1 and Marv's credits are so weak. Oh. And he's not going to keep yeah. it, is he? Following all these cues. And they can delay long enough. As long as Victor stays alive, he's got a trip still up. There's one kill trip time. Apoff seeing if he can make his mark. In through market. Cam not spotting anything. Being pressured all the way from behind. But still wins the fight. Out! And Derek just takes away two of them. Spike though. It's out into the open. TP backs away. And crashes. Crashes to make the play. Here's the footsteps. Here's the reload. No real theft. Putting them all out. Will he go for the early peak? Bait and switch. 1v1 now. Superman sticking the plant, not feeling deterred, doesn't know where the last alive is, Victor. Many ways to play this one. Unknown creeping in. The back of the players' heads, they just don't know where they could be. But he spotted it out. Mid crunches out through B main as well. And they have lost at least sight and direction of where this could be possibly landing. Kill trip, be damned. I mean, Superman's the one who's just taken names off the server, crossed them off the list. What a crunch there into market. And all the utility was excellent. The fault line even coming through from nature, through from B main. That area of the map just allowing his breach to have so much impact on the split. And Apoth also collected the kill on. You know, you could see at least the bare bones making of something that was fleshed out. Apoth, important kills from Defined here. And they spotted out the two players with the rifles. If they take them away, it's the dangers of NRG. So and that they can play retake here, surely. And now the rolling thunder. It's the knife that forces it out early. Martin wasn't caught by it. Not catched by the stun. And this mine could make all the difference. Rooted into position. He's got to try and defend this site away from them. 
in position again with the stun in his face. Adjustment barely there by Superman. Doubled up though into the back of the side, and then actually have got to do work now. Put it in the business and winning this. How does it a neutral team? But what does it get? Anything. Crashies still alive here, but April brought down. Spider Man killed entertainment. Wins it. <laughs> Are they going to go for it? Of these maps just on the basis of them getting these pistol rounds. Pretty consistent in terms of how well they've been able to grab them. A lot of util is going to be used here to just push them back, but it does not catch Jorgamo. He sits nice and pretty onto the high ground angle, even with that nade rebounding. Not enough not with quite. the dead. Yeah, it doesn't stop the plant from going down. Victor's in a lurk position, and Nature oh, looks like he might get caught here. Nature is so unaware that he's just really being pushed and assailed on his position. NRG, it all works into the favor of them. Superman turns into a 1v3. But look at the hurdles to overcome. Hello, isolating fight. Found TP into the smoke. Slight direction, misdirection. Crashies, he just holds it down and bites his time, knowing the right time to strike is there. Superman was considering at least playing that one, and then he can't quite break the knife here. So with him getting tagged, walks his way out of dodge. Thrash, though, might be getting that connection. No, it's avoided, dodged, and duped. In fact, Superman is really getting aggressive into it. In and out of the smoke, just trying to dodge all the available flashes and energy, looking to take back side control. This time, it's overwhelming. Stuns up, though, still can't quite claim it. Ethan follows through, finally there. But EG have that player advantage. Them finding Victor into mid, and now it does put the onus onto a player like Ethan once more. Spotted. The jump spot and a flash as well, Ethan. Dodging and ducking away, Crashies. Picks up the upgrade. <laughs> He's getting a move on here. EG are not necessarily fast onto their approach either. There's definitely going to be some time being bought for him. But the mosh pit? You can definitely see the delay. It's spotted. Sees the shoulder. Kills. Oh, so much info. As soon as those B mid players don't get cleared. They do end up taking mid control. Now with the no command, it's ripping its way through onto the side. Apoc being caught here as well. So we run up that util to try and stop them in their tracks. Jordan Go wandering into mid. It's supposed to be a fake. Got them traded. And yeah, the fake will be paying off. I mean, Ethan might have just done all the work for them anyway. Derek. Four side of position there, just from the wingman, and they're going to be calling for the rotation back over towards B. He's realized that he's got the side for his team, Nature. Openings and chances, but denied. And this is one of those rounds where the mid-rounding from NRG looks sublime. If they can get more rounds like this on their attack side, they are going to be such a dangerous team. I love what they went for here. Yes, they navigate away from that left. danger in B main and give up that space, but they turn it into a fake, and Derek's left in a 1v4, which he shouldn't be able to do anything with, despite the kill onto Marv. They have available to them. Just tightening up the mistakes from a sense. Well, as I say that... Okay, Tates are about to come here. This is not as weak as Ethan might feel. No, it's really not. And even if Apop does get smoked off from this angle, he's going to have these trips onto the side to play off of. Just needs to not go down into the moment. Here has a case to play through and around. And there it is. Kill trick in order. Haven't quite gained the sight. That's going to be disrupted, I believe, from the aftershock. And anybody just seeking to claim that space and scale up deep, it's going to be denied the chances. Dizzy forwards. Apop connecting, but a rocket from behind. It's all done and dusted. Marked. He dominates the smoke angle. But this is a hell of a round to overcome. 1v3, Spike dropped out into the open, only 15 seconds to do it. Again, you'd have to be the miracle maker. And he doesn't land the energy. You need to add more of these fast takes at the start of the round and insert players. What a shot from Marv to make this one winnable with Sheriffs. Yeah, suddenly some danger here into the half by round. Push them back in the way. They've spotted that weak spot, Marv. Let's TP forwards. Does he get a gun as well? That's what he was hoping for. Wow, my eyes are down. Still out into the open. Apoff wants to try and defend this. Nade rebounds forwards here with the door opening wide. It's EG putting that squeeze on. So they do defend that weapon, but energy have got themselves into the post plant with Demon One's ult earned. They're going to roll in thunder this one, cutting them all the way up. Pushing into the smoke. Rocket unleashed, but a kill still found. Jorgamo is doing the most. Thrash defended, detained. And now it all lies on Derek. Holding the position on the ground once more. Again, you can see and hear that spike is ticking away. But the options just running out, running short and shy of the mark. Derek can't get the kill. Weaving backwards and forwards. Final moments will do it. We weren't able to follow up on the rolling thunder because Demon 1 immediately pops out. Very heads up play. Great raise out there from Demon 1 to control that space. 
And even though Jaw gets two, the thrash. Control forward falls. This is an aggressive play potentially by EG, but it sees doesn't connect. Yeah, again, look, Victor is playing this situation so passively, giving good info. Covered. And this paranoia is driving up to mid. That was my TP in past. The trip. Yeah. Uh, and look, NRG again trying to find the weak spots. They know the three players are fighting A, so they're trying to find the gaps. But the gaps aren't really there. The flash not dodged. Team one, though. Just have the Satchel to just get the hell out of their nade, pushing them back and away. Still plenty of time left into the round for NRG to work with. Yeah, they tried to get a reaction going here and tried to get a reaction going up through this way as well and got countered by a paranoia. And then Marv got caught in top mid. Apoff. Hey, He's the one jiggling this corner into this angle. Just trying to spot it out so he knows that energy have crossed. And one Superman. threshold over towards market. Superman does not have his flash. He's in a much more vulnerable spot. No cages as well to just try and help supplement it. Superman caught. Haven't cleared main though. Could be a blessing in disguise from especially when that all pops up because all the heads have turned around. Distraction plays abound. And it all leads down to Victor. It's a spammable angle and position, but he needs to get lucky with a few more shots than that. Seems Joker, to know where to end. No. Victor's taking elbow space. Sloppy. People group up on B. It's really so, sloppy. Can Victor fake enough to make his presence away left. from the hit worthwhile? And Demon 1, he's the one who's just been encroaching on his position over towards A. It's all about the push and pull and the fake, but he's seen a rifle, the barrel, betrayal in motion. Yeah, and I apologize, I was saying Victor, that's Demon 1, of course. Yeah, spraying it and praying with it, the blinds. Really for information around mid and market. No way you're going for another repeat, Jorgamo. Open, I believe that he was going to be set up. And normally it's just one player playing there from NRG's side. Connection with the Dizzy, Derek. Poshed away from the angle. That's a nice opener for NRG. They're going to threaten that they're going top mid with that smoke, but when the trip doesn't get broken, it doesn't actually threaten anything. There's a trip and a cam for them to break here. They break the cam, Shadows. but not the trip. And again, market is not particularly threatened. That's, a big That's huge. This is what they needed. I said it would take a miracle. Thrifty wins, which listen, and actually been able to grab them, but he's opening kills. Flexing on them with the mechanical ability. NRG are trying to keep it cautious at this yeah. point, making sure that they don't get caught by Derek or Nature. These two initiators, they saw them at the start of the round over towards A. A mark spotting them both in mid now. Full close in the face, fault line stunned, avoided. Now with a paranoia as well. Oh no. Be any sort of follow up. Nice little pre fire onto the corner. They do take up market control, but they've got a lot to clear. Hey, round. Disgusting work from the players to just find those picks. And Demon Wani will not be denied, except <laughs> in the face of all that util, maybe just so. Speaking about Demon One, he doesn't play the conventional race. You know, he doesn't have on this wall. Oh yeah, monster on the move. Crash forwards. Along with that, the rockets and flying away. What is that? It's a season to the aftershock combination and a foul one at that. Our potter's pulled deep into the playbook for that one coming out of the tag timeout. Ludicrous stuff, man. I mean, EG conditioning like they're fighting aggressively for most of the time. Marv, it's going to make the adjustment. He's got the spike into his hands, but he's got to deal with April for the reload to bait and switch pulling out the util. Spike now being planted. One chance, one opportunity. Running away. There's a mockery around in this situation. There's no way he's going to be able to rotate all the way. 40 seconds. He has the time for it, but a bait and switch. Forwards again with a TP might just be overcooking it. Smelling a bit burnt. The other thing, it slows them down. It forces NRG to use ults to clear out B main. And they come through with that seize. But EG have shown that they're well willing to clear for it. Team one's clearing it. No, it's a half clearance. No off F now with a phone line off his contact. It's supportive util to make sure that he can try and stay alive. The shots are missing. Entirely going wide. And EG can sense it. It's the precipice at the fingertips, the tip of the tongue, whatever you want to call it, hunting out these players and these kills. Ethan's taken a lot of space, but he's got almost no health to work with. I don't see how NRG are pushing this across the line. And there's such good awareness. Jorgamo already sending the boombox forwards just to clear out that space. Ethan, he has to group up and double up. The player disadvantage, a health disadvantage, a gun disadvantage, NRG. On the verge of losing this one, and EG, they know it. Time to strike is now. Seize. Push them back and away. Ethan. 
eager to take this fight. Jorgamo's alone, and he's found it. And now is the time to be cool, calm, and collected. EG, bring it to one. Bombs, the Iceman cannot get it done.